He's going to lose a yard on that one. It's third down. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And the heat was all over him, and that's the way the third quarter will wrap up with a big sack. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. He'll signal for a fair catch after that wee punt. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. Pulls and throws off the RPO. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. And in this situation, wait, when you need two touchdowns to win the game, everything's going to have to be downfield. So I like the idea in this two minutes. And the comeback is on. So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David, and after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last run, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. To the air, it's Ward. Unloads to the one, and it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Short fields make successful offense. It's just what they want here. He's got the tight end. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The Golden Bears want to crank the tempo. And I love that play call. There's a great example of sudden change situation, right? Your defense gets the turnover. You get it right back. The very first play, let's be aggressive. Let's take a shot and see if we can catch the defense napping. Boy, oh boy, did that ever work out great. Wants to throw on second down. Got it! They make the tackle just outside the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. And a touchdown here would not only give them the lead, but in the fourth quarter, that ramps up the pressure. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, and you see the sense of urgency now going up, right, David, on defense here, creating a negative play with their backs up against the wall. Everybody's selling out. Touchdown, Golden Bears! They move on top here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters, in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. Into the end zone, the two-point conversion is good, and now they're up by a field goal. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes with the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Leaves it with the back. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Wants to throw. It's Ward. Getting some heat. Flushed out of the pocket. 
He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Canes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. This quarterback doing a lot of good decision-making on that last play. First off, nice job extending, but then understanding what the coverage was, understanding nobody's open, and then going, hey, look, I can go get this myself, and finally, not only am I going to get this first down, I'm going to take care of myself, too. I'm going to slide. I practiced this all week. A little baseball slide action. We got a fresh set of downs. Picks up the first down, still moving. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're, they're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. Last couple of plays, the offense seems to be just one step ahead, David. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to do something to disrupt the timing, the rhythm. I gotta do something that they are not expecting, because right now they got the run and they got the pass working. So this defense, they have to find something new to kind of confuse this offense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Martinez on the carry. They pull him down after a four-yard gain down to the 24. They not only have to deal with this defense, but the noise from this crowd on third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. A shot toward the end zone. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. Here we go with the run on fourth down. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. Well, that is a gutsy play call on that fourth down. I think everybody here in the stadium, including myself, was expecting them to try to throw the football, but they ran it and caught the defense off guard. Looking for a crease to the left. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll try the right side. Not much room, he gets one down to the seven. We've reached the two minute warning and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. Touchdown, Kings! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. What a great job by this offense. And listen, I judge offenses by what they do in the clutch, in those big moments and right before the half, in the fourth quarter late in the game, just like right here. You need a score. you got to go take the lead. They do everything they can. Now, defense, you're up. I need you to get me a stop. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires the pass. Intercepted. They got him down quickly after the pick, but he'd already made the biggest play, and they've got it at the 38. That might be the nail in the coffin, fellas. This offense, they're trying to get back in the game. You're having to be aggressive. You're now going to have to start taking chances. An errant throw ends up in the hands of the defense, and I think that's all she wrote. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Hey, listen, explosive plays comes in all different shapes and sizes. That time, they attack the outside to the left on the ground, and that is a momentum-shifting play. 
They know they have a huge advantage there. I, I expect them to go right back to it. And what do you do now if you're on defense? You've got to be expecting that they're going to try and tack that side of the field, maybe in the same way, maybe on this next play right here. Timeout called Timeout. there by the defense, Timeout. desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. You already have the lead. Scoring is always good. But milk the clock, and it will be your friend. their way in and he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman as a quarterback you've got to know in this area of the field it's tough to throw right the windows they open and close so quickly when you get down to the red zone what helps you is running the football but that's tough today because you're going up against and he'll find the end zone touchdown hurricane they give themselves just a little more cushion as they close in on extending this winning run. That is exactly what you want your offense to do. You want it to eat clock, but if you score, go up by two possessions, nail meat, coffin, great execution by this offense to put this game away. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Great starting point. Grabs it inside his 25, and here he comes. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Cal gets it back, the sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. I know the situation looks bleak, but have we nothing if we don't have hope, David? Amen. I mean, keep hope alive, pitch this pill around, use every second you've got, make this game calmer as close as you possibly can. Crazier things have happened in college football, man. Let's just go find out. Let's find out where the playmakers are lined up and see if they can make something pop. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And the Golden Bears come to the line in the hurry up. Got to get everybody to the line and spike it to stop the clock. After this, it'll be a wrap. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. Makes the catch, he's got enough. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. When we get to the offseason and they start having coaching clinics, they're going to roll this game tape back to show both offenses. Dial it up and let it run. I and mean, that's essentially what we saw in this game. It didn't matter what either offensive coordinator was calling. Everything seemed to work through throwing the football in the intermediate passing game, the RPOs, the run game. David, this was just clinical offensive football. And offenses have evolved so much. They can do so many different things, and they know how to use their playmakers, get speed and space, make those big plays. So that's why offenses are ahead of defenses in this game. It was no different. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.